This is Shabi before her special friend came into the picture. Shabi had been run over by a hit and run driver. She had two broken legs and other injuries. Two strangers took her to a vet to be repaired. Then Nina volunteered to nurse her back to health. After Shabi was well again, Nina realized her apartment was too small for the dog. She gave Shabi away to friends. They lived 200 miles away. In the meantime, Nina moved. Shabi missed her friend. She dug a hole under the fence and began to walk away. Shabi walked the 200 miles looking for Nina. Even though Nina had moved, Shabi found her. How can a dog navigate such a long distance and find someone who has moved? A researcher has a database of similar stories with 29 homing cats and 60 homing dogs. In most cases, the animal is transported from its home to an unfamiliar location without even having a chance to learn the smells or landmarks en route. The Straight Dope website says the navigational abilities of homing pigeons are well known. It goes on to say, even more impressive are those of seabirds such as the albatross, which can fly home from as much as 4,000 miles away. Monarch butterflies annually migrate 2,000 miles from the Great Lakes to Mexico and back. Individual butterflies don't live long enough to make the round trip, but somehow the species as a whole knows which Mexican butterfly trees to return to every winter. This is even though three to five generations may intervene between one visit and the next. Are the monarch butterflies from Michoacan, Mexico. Late each March, as many as 150 million of them start migrating towards Canada. Along the, along the way, they die. However, before they died, they laid eggs in milkweed plants. The eggs became caterpillars, which became pupas, which became butterflies. These butterflies continued on their way towards Canada. They died. However, before they died, they laid eggs in milkweed plants. The eggs became caterpillars, which became pupas, which became butterflies. After flying around Canada for a while, they knew their descendants must return to Michoacan in Mexico. So, they started flying south. They died. However, before they died, they laid eggs in milkweed plants. The eggs became caterpillars, which became pupas, which became butterflies. The whole process takes three to five generations. What do lost dogs, lost cats, and monarch butterflies have in common? They have a system of finding their way home that is unexplainable to modern science. I believe this homing ability has something to do with life beyond the fourth dimension. For more information, go to laserphoto.ca slash lost dog.